Once upon a time, the atoms that make up your body were born inside stars. But what will happen to them after your death? To imagine this, picture the entire journey your atoms have taken. Long ago, they were simple hydrogen atoms in the clouds of gas that made up the young universe after the Big Bang. Time after time, these atoms found themselves inside new stars, where some underwent supernova explosions and were returned to space. One day, in the depths of one of those stars, hydrogen was transformed into helium, carbon, and oxygen. And during a supernova explosion, gold was born, the very gold that now shines in jewelry. Later, these atoms became part of new stellar nebulae, from which planets formed. And eventually, they ended up on the third planet from the Sun, Earth. In other words, we are quite literally made of substances that arose in the hearts of stars. However, the atoms that make up our bodies do not truly belong to us. We only borrow them for the span of our lives. When the sun turns into a red giant, it will evaporate the atoms of our dust from Earth's surface, and they will once again find themselves in outer space. Then, once more, they will become part of the interstellar gas from which new worlds will be born. In this endless cycle, our galaxy, the Milky Way, is a real recycling plant for atoms. In the end, all the atoms that exist in our universe were created in the interiors of stars as a result of thermonuclear reactions. And life, as the highest form of self-organization of atoms known to us at this moment, does not actually own those atoms. Living organisms use chemical elements only briefly to ignite their own consciousness and develop their bodies. After death, however, they lose all their atoms, and those atoms once again return to the grand cosmic cycle of matter. Thanks to thermonuclear fusion in stars, atoms can be reborn and migrate, becoming part of many different objects. From stellar nebulae to human bodies, and this process can continue for eternity.